So as you can see today, I am not making soap, but I'm also not making bath bombs. I am making bubble scoops. It's T from Betty and Brenda and welcome back to my channel if you're already a subscriber. If you are new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and watch me make bath and body products on a weekly basis. Don't forget to also click the bell so you'll know every time I put out a video and follow me on Instagram and or Facebook at Betty and Brenda Bath Co. So yes, like I stated, I am making bubble scoops today and I have a new recipe that I'm using. Um, it's a lot harder than the ones I've used previously, so you don't have to wait you know, days for your bubble scoops to dry out. These dry out within 30 minutes or so. And I got this recipe, or you know, a basic recipe, from Soaping 101. Um, you can check out her YouTube channel. She has all kind of helpful videos on there. But I saw her making them, I got her recipe, and I tweaked it a bit to match what I kind of wanted to do. So this particular bubble scoop is going to match another soap that I made and it's called uh, a snowflake soap. And here's a picture of it right here. Um, I'll show you how I made this soap in a couple of weeks. That video will come out a little later, but these bubble scoops are going to match that or hopefully get as close to it as I can. The color of the bubble scoops will be a dark navy color. And I'm using a dark navy dye from fizzfairy.com. And uh, I'm going to try to put some of these cute little glitter snowflakes on the top. I'm not sure if they're going to stick. <laughs> so if they don't, then I will just grab me some regular um, sparkle glitter and put it on the top. And that'll be just as cute as well. But I kind of wanted the snowflakes since the soap has snowflakes on the top. I thought it'd be cute for the bubble baths, bubble baths, I'm oh, sorry, bubble scoops to also have snowflakes on the top. Now this particular recipe, as I stated, it gets really, really hard within about, I don't know, about 30 minutes after you make it. And the ingredients are um, baking soda, SLSA. It has some cornstarch in it, cream of tartar, cocoa butter, apricot oil, glycerin, polysorbate 80 and that just helps disperse the oils and colors in the tub some cocoa mitopropyl betaine and then also some fragrance now the dye I'm using is water soluble so it won't attach to the tub but I do have quite a bit of cocoa butter and apricot oil in this recipe and the recipe is going to be in the description box so you can check it out there you can use it see if you like it if not, then you can always tweak it. That's what I do a lot of times. Um, well, not a lot of times, but with some of the things that, you know, I'm, I'm struggling with making, I will find me a recipe and then I just kind of make it my own. So feel free to do that as well. Okay. So as you can see, I have my little bowl here with my um, strainer on the top here. You want to always sift your dry ingredients to make sure that it goes in really smooth in your recipe. I've already melted my cocoa butter and have everything set up here. Grab a mask, especially if you're using the SLSA or um, even if you're using any kind of surfactant powder. The, the powder from this, I mean, it can get all into your nose, into your eyes, it makes you cough. I have done it before. It's very irritating. So make sure you grab a mask before you use this. And I have everything here. Like I said, I'm using the dark navy water soluble dye from Fizz Fairy. The fragrance I'm using today is Spiritual Awakening. And that's from Nature's Garden. And that fragrance is going to match what I put in the soap. So um, the soap and the bubble scoop are going to be kind of little matching partners there. But I pretty much have everything ready. 
So, um, and I have my mixer off here to the side. I'm actually gonna make this in my mixer. So I have everything here and I will talk you through how I make that. You know, so let's get started and let's make some bubble scoops. Guys, so first thing first, I'm gonna go ahead and put my mask on. Um, even though I'm not getting to the SLSA just yet, I put it on just for all of the dry ingredients. So forgive me if I sound just a little bit muffled. I wear an N95 mask and I find these on Bulk Apothecary. I use them for mixing my um, fine powders and I use them for going out in the, um, during the pandemic as well. It's a great mask. You should really go out there and get you one. Okay, so hopefully you can still kind of hear me, understand what I'm saying. Uh, sorry, but you know, safety first. I'm going to grab my baking soda and get that measured out. And I go ahead and get that started in my mixer before I start doing anything else. baking soda already in there it's mixing in with my colors I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my dry ingredients get those sifted and then add all of those at one time And I always like to take my cup after I pour my liquids out, pour a little bit of my dry in there and just kind of mix that around a bit to get, to make sure I get every little bit of that out. See, it leaves some of the liquid ingredients stuck in there. I like to grab it out. 
And here we go. Uh, I can take this mask off now since the powder has been fully incorporated. And this is what we have. And you can see it's it's like a, a Play-Doh kind of consistency. You know, you can squish it and, you know. But I'm going to hurry up and get the scooping before it starts to harden up. Because like I said, it will start to harden up pretty quickly. And here I just have just your basic little ice cream scoop with the little lever on the side so you can get it out. And I'm going to go ahead and start scooping. And I just sit it here on some wax paper once I scoop it out. And I did make a large batch of this. Um, so I push it down in there like that. And then just scoop it out. You know, and you can have it perfectly inside of the scoop, or you can leave some kind of outside of the scoop, like that. I'm just gonna drop that piece. So that it'll, you know, make it look a little messy around the outside, like an actual ice cream. So I'll scoop it in. Push it down. If it's too much, you know, take some of it off. Leave some on the outside or make it a perfect scoop. And to make it a perfect scoop, you know, where you don't have the little sloppiness on the outside, just clean up that little outside there. Don't leave it there. And then scoop it out. And there you go. But I like mine looking a little more sloppy. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to have mine hanging on the outside here. I like leaving it some. To me it looks more authentic. Not, I guess not, I probably shouldn't do that. I don't want people to think it's ice cream. You definitely want to put a warning on these to make sure that people don't try to eat this. Now you can do whatever size scoop you want. I have a really large scoop. I don't use that one as much because it makes, I mean, just huge, huge scoops. And here you go. Like I said, the recipe I used today wasn't for a lot of scoops. It only made seven. So these scoops are about two ounces each because the full recipe was for 14 ounces. Okay, so I have all of my scoops here. And now I am going to try to see if this glitter will stick. I love this color. It goes perfectly with the soap. And I'm going to take these off because I have some of the soap on there and replace them with another pair of gloves. You know, I really don't know if these little snowflakes are going to stick. Might have to try to, you know, push them in there some. But it also has some other pretty little glittery dye at the bottom too that aren't the snowflakes. See, up under here, there's like some little silver. So I'm trying to get some of that as well. And then this, for the snowflakes, uh, like I said, I'm going to try to push them in there. Because I know that they're large chunks. I can feel them getting hard already. It does not take long for these to sort of to get um, really hard. What I like about them is number one, you're not waiting days and days for them to get hard so you can ship them faster. 
and it does provide such an ease with shipping them because you just don't have to worry about whether or not they're going to crumble. And here we go. These are so adorb. So cute. And it's so many flakes on here. I can barely get to like just the regular little glittery part. So I think what I will do is in addition to this, I'm going to grab some of my holographic, my eco silver holographic or hmm, let me see. I have some of this um, Sparkle Plenty from Matt Micah's. I'm going to see how that works. Just for that little extra touch on there. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that is super cute. Love it. That did the trick and I'm hoping these snowflakes will stay. I'm pushing them in. That is adorb. Oh yeah. And the color matches so well with my soap. Aren't those just cute? I'm gonna grab the soap and show you what they look like together. Okay, so there's the soap. And didn't that match? That's, that's pretty close. Pretty darn close. And look, I can already pick this up. Already. It's already getting hard. Love this recipe. Whoever was the first person that thought, you know, let's do another recipe to make these hard right away, God bless them. Because this just makes a world of difference. And the bubbles are gorgeous as well. But here we go. Y'all, I don't know if my snowflakes are going to stay on. But that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to let these dry. I mean, like I said, it doesn't even take that long. It doesn't take overnight. You can, of course, I let them sit overnight, but in about 30 minutes to an hour, you can wrap these up and, and ship them out. That's, that's how hard they get in so little time. As you can see, I can already touch it. Now I messed up on some of my scoops and it might just be time for me to buy another scoop because it didn't act like it wanted to release them. But these, I mean, look at this. Like, I can just, I mean, already. I'm just holding it in my hand, and it's not crumbling. It's not, you know, really soft. It's hard already. But I am going to come back and show you how these bubble up, because I got a couple of them here that aren't as cute <laughs> as some of them. So I definitely have some samples. I can show you what this looks like once it bubbles up in the water.